Apprehension is a prevalent sensation that individuals encounter when they perceive potential peril or a looming menace. Experiencing fear or concern in reaction to tangible risks is typical. Nonetheless, certain individuals, despite the absence of genuine peril, find these emotions persisting. They discover themselves preoccupied or harboring apprehension, even when everything is in order. At such junctures, it can be beneficial for someone to intervene and extend assistance. Frequently, individuals conceal their apprehension. They attempt to mask their anxious emotions through giggling, grinning, and projecting serenity externally, even when experiencing inner discomfort. Presented here is a Zen anecdote illustrating how to address unease. Within a tranquil coastal community, there resided an individual named Ethan who perpetually experienced uneasiness. It resembled a looming silhouette, rendering it challenging for him to savor existence. Ethan resolved that he must take action, embarking on a quest to rediscover tranquility and joy once more. He learned of a wise Zen guru residing in a tranquil mountain hamlet, so Ethan journeyed there with optimism in his heart. As he ascended the rugged trail towards the guru's petite abode, he observed the serenity that enveloped everything. The atmosphere remained serene, and the birds chirped joyfully. Upon reaching the Zen guru's dwelling, Ethan encountered an exceptionally tranquil ambience. The guru perched on a boulder adorned with lush moss, offering a gentle smile. The guru extended an invitation to Ethan, inquiring, Greetings, weary voyager. What has brought you to this place? Ethan conveyed his sentiments, elucidating the challenges anxiety had posed in his life and expressing his profound yearning for tranquility. The educator directed his attention towards Ethan with gentle gazes once he concluded his speech. He expressed serenely, Apprehension resembles an untamed stallion. It can gallop unrestrained, yet we can also acquire the ability to manage it. The crucial aspect is comprehending it. Ethan paid close attention while the instructor discussed the art of living in the current moment and practicing mindfulness. The tutor recounted anecdotes of individuals who transformed their approach to handling anxiety by remaining in the present instant. Motivated by this sagacity, Ethan resolved to remain and acquire additional knowledge from the mentor. Each day, Ethan engaged in meditation and observed the transient nature of his worrisome thoughts. He came to understand that by embracing these thoughts without forming judgments, they relinquished their control over him. Upon sharing his advancements, he inquired of the instructor, Despite my ability to witness my unease, it occasionally becomes overpowering. How can I attain enduring serenity? The instructor selected a polished pebble and stated, This rock symbolizes your intellect. Sense its heaviness within your palm. Ethan clutched the stones in his grasp, sensing their reassuring mass. The instructor conveyed, Picture your concerns resembling droplets of rain descending onto a serene lake. Ethan comprehended it his gaze widening. The instructor then deposited a pebble into a nearby pond, generating waves that perturbed the tranquil water. Just as the undulations disrupted the pond, our apprehensions can unsettle our inner serenity. Ethan grasped that it's not the unease itself, but our fixation on it that triggers hardship. With this revelation, he opted to relinquish his connections and move harmoniously with the course of existence. Over time, Ethan transformed. Months transitioned into years, and he evolved into a wellspring of tranquility and motivation within the community. Individuals sought his counsel, attracted to his internal harmony. With modesty and appreciation, he conveyed the insight he gathered from the Zen guru. Ethan's metamorphosis demonstrated how being present and engaging in mindfulness can assist in conquering trepidation. Ethan discovered the tranquility he sought and opted to assist others in their quest. 
instead of merely seeking solutions individually, he transformed into a mentor, illuminating the path for individuals endeavoring to uncover serenity amidst turmoil. With the enduring sagacity he acquired, he received an enlightenment that forever altered his existence. Existence can prove challenging, potentially disrupting our inner serenity. However, by attentively observing and releasing concerns that trouble us, we can attain enduring serenity. If we concentrate on the moment and grasp that our anxieties are fleeting, we can modify our approach to stress and uncover inner calm. Once in the distant past, there existed a youthful lady who experienced constant unease. She experimented with various approaches such as medication and confiding in someone about her predicament, yet none proved beneficial. Subsequently, she resolved to converse with a Zen guru. Upon her arrival at the sanctuary, the guru displayed exceptional warmth and invited her to take a seat. The lady shared her ongoing battle with anxiety, detailing how it afflicted her on a daily basis. The expert attentively observed and afterward, he escorted her outdoors. They strolled about and he presented her with trees, blossoms and creatures, instructing her to observe each attentively. His desire was for her to concentrate on the hues, patterns and noises of the natural world and to be completely present. Following some time, they halted and the expert instructed the lady to shut her eyes. He led her to inhale deeply and release it gradually, visualizing that each exhalation was relinquishing her anxieties and apprehensions. The lady adhered to the counselor's counsel and experienced significantly greater tranquility. It marked the initial occasion in an extended duration where she experienced truly serene. The counselor elucidated, visualize unease as akin to a tempest in your thoughts, creating obscurity and inundation. However, akin to a tempest departing and the heavens regaining clarity, your unease shall likewise fade. By directing your attention to the current instant and relinquishing apprehensions, you can navigate the tempest of unease and discover internal serenity. Grateful for the counselor's direction, the lady departed the sanctuary sensing a lesser burden and more optimistic. In more straightforward language, the narrative imparts the lesson that focusing on the current moment and releasing concerns can assist in managing anxiety and discovering inner tranquility. Numerous events are unfolding at this very moment, creating a sense of disorder and unrest, akin to monkeys leaping wildly. Diversions abound, instilling fear and apprehension within us. It's a substantial weight to bear. Thus, how can we enhance circumstances? What actions can we take to address all of this? Pursuant to Buddhist concepts, there exist methods to address unease and intrusive ideas. The initial pivotal phase involves acknowledging and conceding our state of anxiety. In accordance with the doctrines of the Supreme Buddha, who serves as our esteemed instructor, distress is an inherent component of existence for all individuals. The Buddha articulated, in the presence of birth, suffering is inevitable. Consequently, regardless of our wealth, aptitude, or popularity, we all partake in a collective encounter with apprehension, concern, and affliction. Primarily, it's of paramount significance to grasp that when I experience uneasiness, it typically stems from anxious notions that can potentially precipitate bouts of intense dread. Upon the emergence of these ideas, most individuals endeavor to repel them and suppress any emotional response. Nonetheless, the more we attempt to combat these sentiments and harbor resentment towards them, the more potent they grow and can potentially dominate our existence. The initial action to take is to acknowledge that harboring worrisome ideas is a typical human reaction, a phenomenon everyone encounters. This concept aligns with the teachings of Buddha, who conveyed that everyone undergoes hardship. Acknowledging this stands as the primary crucial step. 
Subsequently, the ensuing step encompasses engaging in mindfulness exercises, a valuable component of Buddhist practices. Within the realm of Buddhism, there exists a custom of mindfulness, and the Supreme Buddha expounded upon the four cycles of mindfulness. This entails maintaining awareness of one's thoughts and emotions in the current instant, which can be beneficial in addressing anxiety. Initially, give heed to your physique. Secondly, stay conscious of your sentiments. Thirdly, direct your attention towards your cognitions. Fourthly, remain attentive to your psychological conditions. There exists an instructive technique known as Shitanupasana that unifies these elements. Essentially, it involves observing your cogitations, as advised by Buddha. When you engage in this, something intriguing occurs. This practice generates a separation between you and your thoughts, establishing some space. Typically, when confronted with difficulties or sentiments such as trepidation and apprehension, we often perceive these cogitations as integral to our self-concept. For instance, when enraged, we may have the sensation that the idea, I am furious, I am fearful, I am troubled, I am uneasy, constitutes a portion of our identity. You do not embody anxiety itself. Rather, it signifies that your thoughts brim with anxiety. Your consciousness is entangled in apprehension. This establishes a slight gap between you and your thoughts. Consider it akin to the heavens. Envision yourself as the azure sky and your thoughts as the celestial formations. These formations materialize and disperse, transitioning from darkness to luminance, scattered to clustered, and assuming diverse forms and dispositions. Nevertheless, the sky remains unwavering and unaltered. Engaging in mindfulness concerning your intellect and contemplations evokes a comparable sensation. When you scrutinize your thoughts without passing judgment, making comparisons or fretting, you detach yourself from them, transmuting them into external entities. Envision clutching an object within your palm and merely gazing at it. What unfolds subsequently? You gain an opportunity to ponder, what does this thought signify? Subsequently, you can acknowledge and express, ah, my consciousness presently experiences disquietude. The thoughts I currently harbor instill anxiety within me. By acknowledging your thoughts, you commence comprehending that I am not in a state of unease. It's merely my thoughts that are triggering apprehension. This consciousness motivates you to employ your sagacity and inquire, what is the essence of this thought? What characterizes this emotional condition? It's fleeting. It arrives and departs akin to a passing glimpse. This realization provides you with an impression that things are not perpetual and that is something worthy of reflection. Moreover, you can scrutinize the thought with greater scrutiny. When apprehension materializes, if you can persistently remain cognizant, bearing in mind that it might appear uncomplicated when I elucidate it. However, when apprehension takes a grip on us, it feels dissimilar. Attaining this is relatively challenging and presents substantial obstacles. Remember that Every positive element contributing to your contentment entails a certain degree of complexity. It demands time, dedication, and resilience during trying periods. Nevertheless, if you diligently exert effort and practice consistently, you will observe favorable outcomes. Well, what's the secret? Give heed to your thoughts. If you experience unease, identify the source of it. Frequently, it stems from an emotional reaction or is grounded in false convictions. Scrutinize your thoughts. Why am I feeling uneasy? What is instilling fear in me? Delve deeper without passing judgment and you may recognize there's no legitimate cause to be frightened or concerned. Afterward, reassure yourself that it's simply a sensation or idea and opt to consciously release it. To practice mindfulness entails being entirely present in the present moment. 
When you give consideration to your thoughts and maintain awareness, you can experience serenity and tranquility. Should your thoughts consistently revolve around the future, it has the potential to induce anxiety within you. Concerns may arise regarding what could transpire at a later time. Nonetheless, if you engage in the exercise of mindfulness, it assists in anchoring you in the current moment, a serene and tranquil realm. By directing your attention to the current occurrences, you can discover tranquility and experience a state of relaxation. Regularly incorporating mindfulness into your routine can undoubtedly yield a constructive impact. A straightforward approach to commence is by inquiring of yourself, what occupies my thoughts at this very instant? This uncomplicated practice can guide you towards mindfulness and enhance your internal serenity significantly. When you commence experiencing fear or concern, or when anxiety engulfs you, simply prompt yourself to delve within and inquire, what is my current thinking? What do my thoughts entail? This assists in recognizing and comprehending your thoughts, isn't it? This is what we refer to as mindfulness. Now let's converse about the final segment. Exhibit kindness to yourself. Refrain from anticipating flawlessness perpetually. Attaining success is not contingent on flawlessness. A few individuals hold the belief that one should perpetually strive for flawlessness, but that is not pragmatic. Here's the crux. It is unattainable for anyone to sustain perfection ceaselessly. Merely exert your utmost effort. That's the extent of what you can accomplish. I trust this enhances understanding. I desire for all of you a serene and well existence, and may each of you discover enduring joy. If you unearth this beneficial, kindly provide us with a thumbs up to assist us in reaching a wider audience in search of age-old knowledge. If you're a newcomer here, subscribe and activate the notification bell for additional teachings on age-old wisdom. Thanks for tuning in and catch you in our upcoming video. To view additional clips, pick one from the options now appearing on your screen. If you discovered this to be beneficial, kindly provide a positive rating to assist us in connecting with a broader audience in search of age-old insights. Should you be a newcomer, consider subscribing and activating the notification bell for additional tutorials on timeless knowledge. We appreciate your viewership and look forward to your presence in our upcoming video. To view additional content, select one of the videos that will be presented on your screen at this moment.